say, show me the money. Say to who? Show me the money. <laughs> <laughs> I live by hard work and I live by, you know, scratching your potential, scratching the surface of your potential comes from everyday commitment. Bring your best every day, because I'm going to bring my best every day. Bill's Mafia, I'm not leaving. What's good, y'all? It's Jay Coffee Talk. Tapping back in with another one, man. And y'all heard digs there. Commitment. Bringing your best-ish every day. That's what he does. That's what he's going to continue to do. And that's what it is. Because you can't have acid if you ain't bringing all the ish you got. You ain't doing nothing. And y'all heard me ish, yeah. A lot of people be like, coffee. Cut it out with the flockery. And just say shit. But now nah, we say ish over here. That's how we rock. But anyways, you know, we've already d discussed this uh, extension that Diggs signed. You see the footage, him on his big day, you know what I'm saying? Had his baby girl with him, helping him sign the deal. She even uh, hit Big Baller Bean with uh, the Jerry Maguire. Show me the money. He said, yo, tell, tell him, show me the money. Big Baller Bean got a kick out of that. And this is just a great moment in uh buffalo bills history this is a great moment in, in football and sports you know what i'm saying because this bills team is for real y'all know what it is you know uh digs one of the top receivers in the league uh in my opinion uh maybe the best he's right up there with the best of them and he most definitely deserved this deal as we all continue to wait like this off season feels like it's just taking forever i just can't wait uh for the season to get there something that i uh, aside from my bills real quick that i want to chop it with y'all on i was just in the comments kicking it with the bro jay millie uh he commented on a russell wilson video was saying you know uh, russ is gonna do great in denver and there's gonna be a lot of tough matchups there and and that's gonna be a really great storyline and, and everything to follow during the season you know what i'm saying russ going up against mahomes two times a year you got herbert over there still doing his thing and evolving as a quarterback and then you know the raiders doing what they do like the afc west is going to be an interesting division but getting back to what we're talking about here with stefan diggs and the bills as we have been covering all the drama going on you know uh stefan diggs was hitting twitter uh, seeming to let everyone know he was displeased with his current deal and we know that's all behind us now that's water under the bridge he's here you heard him bills mafia he ain't going nowhere but i gotta shout out someone else who watches my videos and jumped in the comments on this one uh as y'all know or you don't know and if you didn't now you know over here on j coffee talk it's all about chopping it up with you guys the people in the comments that's what we do we debate and discuss the different topics we coffee talk it up so if you're new make sure to subscribe hit them buttons block with me tap in in the comments but shout out to growing legit as he left this comment and was like yo coffee uh there might have been something going on here with trayvon peep this out as you know he hit me with that link. And as always, guys, I urge y'all, you know, if there's something you guys want to share, hit me in the comments, uh, tap in with me on the gram, Twitter, wherever. But what we're talking about is if you pay attention to this footage, Diggs just didn't have uh, his daughter with him. He had another family member there uh, when he met with Big Baller Bean to get the deal done. And that's his brother, Trayvon. You see that uh, smile? He's like, yeah, Bills Mafia, y'all been hating me because if you guys recall, Trayvon was all over Twitter, um, you know, as all the discussions and were going were ongoing with Diggs like, yo, he he's upset. Uh, he, he wants this new deal. It's it's business, never personal. Um, he deleted all his Instagram posts, you know, as we've been over this before. When he left Minnesota, uh, a lot of ish played out over social media. You know what I'm saying? And then next thing you know. He was gone. He was coming to Buffalo. But while all these tensions and, you know, momentum was surrounding this story, Trayvon Diggs seized the opportunity to fluck around and troll us Bills Mafia a little bit, saying, yo, I always wanted to play with my brother. Uh, you know, Stefan and Dallas would be lit or whatever, even prompting a response from Josh Allen. He kept it short and simple. He didn't get too crazy with it. As we pointed out, he just simply said no. Just like when the deal uh, came through about Diggs signing 
uh, via Twitter. Uh, Josh got in the replies under there and put, yes, he keeps it simple. Like I said, he don't even uh, want to take focus off the game. He don't even want to, you know, burn up that unnecessary energy with 140 characters or however many it is now on Twitter. I forget they changed it up, I believe. But my point here, what I'm getting at and what uh, Growing Legit was getting at as well, and we kind of discussed this before when Trayvon was saying all this ish was like, yo, is he just playing around? Does he know something we don't know? Like at that time, did like, was he kicking it with his brother? And, you know, I mean, we know now he's here to stay. But, uh, you know, a lot of us were pondering that uh, thought process at that time. Like, what's going on, man? Is Trayvon trying to tell us something or is he just trolling us? Well, now that the deal's done, we got to sit there and ask, what do y'all think, man? Could this have been part of the plan? Could Trayvon have been doing that to kind of help get more narratives going and stuff like that uh for stefan to use as a negotiation tactic and try to you know kick up digital dust and kick up kick up more money uh, in the contract talks or do y'all think nah it don't matter or uh the deal was already done or or whatever the case may be because i've seen actually analysts theorize that you know uh, some of the stuff that was going on on social media and and some of the talks and stuff like that actually got Bean to, you know, kind of lit a fire metaphorically under Bean to be like, OK, we got to get this done now. We don't have time to fluck around. Stefan wants his money. You know what I'm saying? Jerry Maguire type ish. Let's get it to him. Like, for real, for real. I know a lot of people will say, man, stop it. Social media ain't ish. These guys are just playing around and such and trolling. Like, don't get me wrong. There is a lot of BS and fluckery on social media, on Twitter. But at the same time, guys, we already know everyone's paying attention to what's going on that, on uh, social media. The police follow it for investigations and football world coaches and GMs are wa watching what's going on. Like, come on things have changed times have changed social media actually seems to say a lot so jump in the comments guys what do you think could this hit like do you think that Trayvon and Diggs might have cooked up this scheme all along to help them you know uh, get this extension underway like if not necessarily as a negotiation tactic for more money just for time constraints you know uh, for urgency you know to let the bills brass know listen Nah, this ain't a down the week thing. This ain't let's wait till after the draft and this and that. This is no right now. Comment. Let me know uh, what you guys think. Let's break all this down. Something else that kind of goes through my head. I'm just kind of clowning around too is uh, with Trayvon being there in Buffalo. You know, another discussion that a lot of fans were 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 bringing up when uh, Trayvon was flucking around on Twitter, getting under the Bills Mafia skin a little bit. A lot of people kept saying, yo, if you want to play with your brother, come to Buffalo, bro. Because as we know, we uh, definitely could use an upgrade at uh, or just more depth at cornerback Trey White starting out the season hurt. Um, you know, like what what if Trayvon was there and was talking to Bean like, yo, Bean, come on, get me over here with my brother. Holler at, uh, holler at Dallas. Holler, not holla. Holler at Dallas and, and let's get something done. <laughs> Talk to Jerry. Uh, comment uh, regarding that as well. And what do you guys think of Trayvon's uh, skill set? Do you think he's, you know, obviously we know Trey White. One of the top corners. One of the top corners in the league for show. Uh, I, I don't think Trayvon can fluck with Tredavious at all by any means. But, you know, what do you think he... What do you think about him compared to the other corners that we have on the team? Jump in the comments. Let's discuss it all below. But thanks for tuning in. Um, again, it's all about tapping in with you guys, interacting, you know, debating, discussing. It's a lot of fun. That's what we do. Coffee, talk it up again. So make sure to hit the button, subscribe. And again, thank you, Growing Legit, for uh, engaging with the channel and, uh, you know, hit me with that lid ink you heard so that's it guys it's coffee i'll catch you on the next one i'm out of here peace